Hi everyone! Today we'll make a very popular kid snack, fruit roll-ups. I'll show you how to make two different flavors from both fresh and frozen fruit, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with a strawberry fruit roll-up, which I made from fresh fruit. The beauty of homemade fruit roll-ups is that you can use any fruit or a fruit combination you like. I have tried berries, mangoes, peaches, apples, and they all work beautifully. Next, I'm adding a splash of lemon juice and some maple syrup. The lemon juice isn't really important with dark colored fruit, but with light colored fruit like mangoes or peaches, I find that the lemon juice does keep the colors bright, so I always add it in. Blend all the ingredients on high and then pour the mixture onto a silicone mat if you're going to be drying these fruit roll-ups in the oven, or a dehydrator sheet if you're going to be using a dehydrator. I tried making the fruit roll-ups with parchment paper and it works, but the finished roll-ups just don't look so pretty. Since the fruit puree is quite runny, the parchment paper absorbs some of the liquid and crinkles underneath, making the fruit roll-ups crinkly as well. A silicone mat, on the other hand, holds its shape perfectly. Spread the fruit puree as evenly as possible into a quarter to eighth of an inch thick layer and then dehydrate it for six to eight hours until the fruit roll-ups are dry and no longer tacky. I used a knife to cut the strawberry roll-ups into strips, but I find that scissors work even better. And that's it for the strawberry roll-ups. Now onto the next ones, blueberry roll-ups. For these roll-ups, I used frozen fruit just to show you that it works exactly the same. Then again, I added a splash of lemon juice and maple syrup. I forgot to mention in the beginning that if your fruit is sweet enough, you don't even have to use a sweetener. Sometimes when my fruit is sweet, I just add some vanilla extract or different extracts to make the flavor pop a little bit. Again, blend the blueberries on high until you have a pourable smooth texture. It does take a little bit more time to blend frozen fruit, but if you have a high speed blender, it doesn't take longer than a few minutes. And yes, you can use a food processor to do this as well. Pour the mixture onto a silicone mat and either dehydrate it at 115 degrees Fahrenheit or bake it in the oven at the lowest temperature possible, which will probably be around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. 
the temperature isn't all that important. What's more important is how you spread the mixture. Keep in mind that the edges always cook faster than the center, so try to spread the fruit puree thicker on the edges. If the edges look like they're getting crispy, you can cut them off later or brush them with a little bit of water or juice during the baking process to rehydrate them. You can test if the fruit roll-ups are done by touching the center. It shouldn't stick to your fingers or indent when you touch it. I feel like we should have Katie, my three-year-old daughter here, because these fruit roll-ups are obviously a kid snack. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to love these, especially the strawberry flavor. And I still like them, and now my daughter loves them, so I make them for her. And as you can see in the video, you can make these from frozen fruit, from fresh fruit, you can choose whatever fruit you like. I just like berry flavor, so that's why I went with berries. Which ones did you like as a kid? Sunripe made fruit to go i think they were called a little package individual packages for everyone that was like i don't know like that long and i probably had a thousand of them i think they still sell them though i think so i don't know i haven't checked in a long time i think they do um but these are better because they're not sticky mm -hmm. they're like really dry so like you don't have to worry about little kids running around your house <laughs> sticky fingers all over the walls and on the door handles and all that stuff so they're that's a plus they taste the same like there's not really any difference maybe the sunripe ones they seem to have like more of that liquidy sugar all over them that's making them sticky so uh yeah they might have a little bit more like tangy sugar flavor these ones taste better though it tastes more like berries um, thank you <laughs> and the consistency like the texture these ones are much thinner. I don't know if it's just the strawberry or the berry that you use, but the blueberry ones are thicker. That They're closer resembling like the actual fruit to go, fruit leather stuff. Yeah, I like the blueberry flavor better too. Not just because of the texture, but um, they're sweeter. And I think it's just because blueberries are naturally sweeter. So the strawberry ones are more tangy, whereas the blueberry roll-ups are more sweet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.